Today we're going to be talking about the possibility of Danny Brackett possibly being a future killer in one of the screams to come or whether he was in fact a secret ghost faced in Scream 6. Scream 6 introduced us to a new love interest for Sam in Danny, a character that for most of the movie I honestly wasn't too sure about him. I don't know how to describe it but I was a mixture of highly suspicious but also part of me really wants to believe that he does in fact care about Sam and in the end of Scream 6 it appears that he is innocent but could him being innocent in Scream 6 just be a little bit of a misdirect and he was in fact one of the killers? There are multiple points in the film where Danny's character comes across as quite shady, you know, getting there at a certain point where it's like he's very unaccounted for for certain big moments. And going to the apartment attack where we see Quinn's murder, Danny watching from that window, he was the only person that was able to see a possible planning of that murder. And yeah, there are maybe ways that it could have been done where Ghostface saw Danny across and kind of maybe could have literally spoken to Quinn. Obviously, we can't see his mouth moving. But to kind of make it look real, Danny's watching. That's a possibility. But I think with the fake blood and everything like that, surely Danny was able to see that get set up. And then another thing that just kind of like made me feel a bit weird when I watched it a second time was why did he just have that ladder at his disposal so quick? I could definitely be overthinking it, but was it a plan to get them in that room so they would have that ladder moment? I don't know, maybe he is just a bit of a handyman and he just has that ladder in his room. But I just found that a bit of like a funny coincidence if so. He's also seen just before that doing the ironing. And we can see in the wash basket that he has a red flannel shirt, which getting very conspiracy right now, links to the theory of the ghost faces being seen in like flannel clothes clothing as a bit of like a subtle clue or hint for those that pay attention on who the killer is. Another thing that I thought was a little bit suspicious and just didn't quite like the tone he used to say it was when it was early on in the film it's the first interaction that we actually see in person between Danny and Sam. Sam's kind of ranting about Tara and her reaction to things and he just responds with family can be rough in a very dead tone if that makes sense. Like it felt like there was weight behind what he was saying and maybe he was holding off on something. But with all of that being said I think Danny is definitely a character we need to watch out for should there be a Scream 7. I don't know whether he was a killer this time, whether he's going to become a killer but wanted to get close to Sam first. You know does that also mean he's a a relative of a previous killer something that would be really messed up in my opinion would be if Danny was kind of brothers with Tara obviously Sam and Tara don't share the same dad but if maybe Danny is actually the half brother I guess you would say of Tara but who knows let me know what you think down in the comments we're going to be talking about some more screen theories on the channel as well as the Halloween videos just a regular content now obviously Halloween has passed my channel was very very Halloween heavy and I still love making videos about Halloween but we're going to mix it up from time to time now get some screen content in there while it's you know very relevant and current as well as whatever else i want to talk about on the channel but yeah make sure to leave a like down below comment and i'll see you guys in the next one